budget report for this program. I don't know why I was speaking with uh, Andy Reid and uh, some other person here, and uh, uh, they told me that we have a series of well, uh, audit reports produced, but that either the Senate or the Parliament does not look into it when they're supposed to look into it, or when they look into it and pass it to the executive, nothing is done, but the executive is supposed to sign it and before it becomes public property. I don't know, but uh, we hope that this president will come in and we'll have one of them sitting here and with the new budget law, like Andy said, told me. The, uh, the government has refused to sign the budget, the new budget law. I mean, uh, not budget law, sorry, budget law. Maybe if they sign the budget law, it will be like this true responsibility that uh, where the government is forced to do something in this within the current timeline. Okay. Now, let's look at a uh, public participation. We scored 25, as we met here, not the average, the global average, which shows that we the government uh, provides minimal space for the public to engage in the budget process. And again, look at the regional comparisons. Nigeria is a bit better here, better than Liberia, Sao Tome, and the Equatorial Guinea. Only so far as I say, I don't know that. I already talked about participation. Government should try as much as possible to institutionalize. How? The most, if they say they are having stakeholder meetings or stakeholder consultations, we must know, every Nigerian must know when this is done and who and who are supposed to participate. And if possible, they should carry it down to the zones to consult at the zone. But I think, I am hopeful that with ZDD, they will have to do that because they have no chance. Next. Now let's go to recommendations. Improving transparency. Nigeria should prioritize the following actions to improve budget transparency. One, publish a media review and audit report. Since 2008 to date, this has always been information to Nigeria, not yet. We hope this time something will be done. Publish in a timely manner the pre budget statement and in year report. Certain. And if you look at what is happening now, to the pre-budget statement in Nigeria. If we do a survey this year, Nigeria will score zero. Yeah. Because last year, they reviewed the uh, oil benchmark three or four times. The eminent, uh, uh, sorry, came out, went into the zone, came out, went into the parliament, came out again, and it continued with the result that our budget was only uh, finally approved in April. My good houses of uh, April. I know in April we have our elections. So I don't even know, I don't know who knows, maybe budget knows how much of this budget is being implemented. We know that the salaries have been paid. Um, published in a timely manner the pre budget statement and e year reports. It's very, very unfortunate. You see, last year, two years ago, Ukubu and his people, as the Director General of the Budget Office, tried as much as possible after our pressure. We had a series of meetings with him and everything. Tried as much, and even we had a meeting with uh, the Honorable Minister and God, com the Commander of the <laughs> Minister of the Government. We had a series of meetings with them, and they tried to improve on this. In year report. They published the first quarter report, published the second quarter report. That's the end. You open the budget side, you don't see anything. Till today, throughout the election period, throughout the new government takeover, and up to now, what you see on the budget side is first and second quarter uh, report. Um, publish, okay, increase the comprehensiveness of the Executive budget proposal by presenting more detail. More details on classification of expenditures for future, prior, and budget years, and on classification of revenues for future and budget years. This is like this is like an anathema to Nigerian budget. You will never open any Nigerian budget and see this is 2014 budget, you see the 2013 uh, provisions, and you see the projections of 2015. Nothing like that. They only try 
try to do a little in the effort, but in the budget, we are insisting that they must do it. Because that is the only way Nigerians will know that we are making progress or we are going backwards. But I think we said it, they don't have a choice. They have to do that. Now, improving participation. Nigeria should prioritize the following actions to improve budget participation. Establish credible and effective mechanisms. That is public hearing surveys, focus groups for capturing a range of public perspectives during budget planning and introduce public engagement mechanisms to support budgetary and budget implementation. Yes, you'll be surprised when you see our report on the subnational survey. In few states are doing even better than the federal government because it shocked us. Because why we went into subnational is because we felt that we thought that the problems we have at federal level is that when you, you make the ministers and heads of prices at foreign states, it's not true. And we feel that whatever standard you have kept at the national level, if you go to a state that doesn't know anything about budget or does not care about budget, it comes and has anything budget in the federal, you will not do anything. It will be the same thing. If I think there's any standard you said you bring it down. But when we now did the subnational, we discovered that certain states like Lagos, Cross River, AGT, even, sorry, not even, and Digawa did very, very well. They paid great attention to participation. They had institutions that are legalized with laws supporting it. And when, they, when it's time to consult on any issue, the people know that they, the thing will come. And they go there and they participate. They send the memos and the rest of them. We need to do it if we have to improve on our budget, budget system. Um, hold legislative hearing to review and scrutinize audit reports. Well, let us hope that the new audit law will help us do that. Because, you see, one of the reasons why we have, we have so much corruption not me saying this now, the new government has said it many times. It's because if there's no way you can know what is being done, or you have or you can report back what you've seen. For instance, you say they are building a, a, a school in your uh, place, village or town or city or whatever. And you know you have access to that information that this school is coming up in your place. At the end of the year, the only reason you the only way you can find out that somebody has taken our money is when you see the audit report saying that so 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 amount of money has been spent in uh, so 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 things for this school and the work was done very well. You will now pick up your album and that started it to either Abuja or to your state government to go and complain. But in Nigeria, nothing like that. So when they put, when the budget is done, it's done. It's implemented by the people who did the budget. And not answer the to nobody. I'm sure it's a big place to get the time to continue with this my presentation. Everybody will let this will have everybody now. Um, establish okay, that's it. Next. Next Okay, improving oversight, please. Nigeria should patronize the following actions, prioritize the following actions to strengthen. Budget oversight. One, ensure the executive's budget proposal is provided to legislators at least three months before the start of the budget year. Well, I think it was only once or twice they were able to do that. But again, full of controversy. They could send it in on time. Uh, issue of uh, benchmark will become a problem. The Senate will reject the benchmark government board and put their own, and the government will reject. And then we lose the three months there. And by January, February, we are still discussing the budget. In both law and practice, ensure the legislature is consulted prior to the spending of contingency funds that were not identified in the enacted, enacted budget. Ensure the Supreme Audit Institution has adequate funding to perform its duty as determined by an independent body, the legislature or judiciary. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.
Okay. Uh, please, uh, spoke.